In this lesson, we shall solve this question here in front of us. Right, question 11. A survey on their preference of exercise was conducted among 140 people in two age groups. The information is summarized below. Age, 35 years and younger. Older than 35 years. Turnies, A, B, 21. Running, 28, 21. 49, gym, C, D, 70, total, 80, 60, 140, 11.1. If it is given that preferring to play tennis and age are independent of each other, determine the value of A. If it is given that A equals 12, determine the probability that a randomly selected person prefers going to the gym or is in the age group 35 years and younger. Right, we start by solving question 11.1 and we proceed as follows. So we consider the fact that if it is given that preferring to play tennis and age are independent of each other, we determine the value of A so that we have the probability of tennis. Like so. And uh, Less or equal to 35 years. Like so. Equals the probability of turners. Multiplied by the probability of less or equal to 35 years. Okay. Now, what do we obtain out of these? Now, the probability of uh, tennis and, and less than or equal to 35 years. We have, to, we have tennis here and 35 years and younger. We have uh, the A here and the total is 140. So that this here becomes A over 140. Probability of tennis is 21 over the total. 140. Probability of 35 years and younger. Now, we re recognize that by saying 35 years and younger, the total is 80. Divided by the total here at the bottom, which is 140. So we look at this and we analyze this with so much care and caution. We're able to cross multiply. And if we cross multiply here, we obtain the following. So we obtain that A is equal to 140 times 21 times 80 divided by um, 140 by 140. So you can write like so. Okay, so because if you multiply 21 by 80 over 140 times, 140, but you cross multiply, so this 140 sits on the right. And therefore, what we're able to get out of this is that A equals 12. Simplify this using calculator, and we're able to see that A equals 12. And therefore, obviously, we're told here that if it is given that preferring to play tennis, and age are independent of each other, determine the value of A. And we can see clearly that the value of A is uh, 12. So A equals 12, like so. Right. So we continue right now, and we want to solve the next, the next problem here. And solving the next problem is looking at 11.2. Right, so 11.2 itself is very, very interesting, and but so awesome if it is given that A equals 12. So you have that A is equal to 12. Determine the probability that the randomly selected person prefers going to the gym or is in the age group 35 years and younger. So yeah, we are able to do this one. Probability of the gym. 
Right. So in other words, we're dealing with the gym or it's in the age group 35 years and younger. So probability of gym or less or equal to 35 years. Right. Like so. You recognize that this equals the probability of the gym plus the probability less or equal to 35 years minus the probability of the gym and less or equal to 35 years. So what is then the probability of the gym or less than 35 years? What is the probability of the gym? Right, so dealing with the gym right now, we recognize therefore that the gym has a total of 70 over the total 140. Now, the probability of less than 35 years, right, so we look at that. So let's look at 35 years, we're able to see therefore that here the total of 35 years and younger is 80. Total. Probability of gym and let's look at 35 years. <laughs> right, so gym is here, let's look at 35 years, so we're dealing with C. Right, obviously we add 12 and 28, and if we add these two, what we get is a beautiful uh, 40. If you have 40 and we need, we require that C be 40 because so that we're 40 plus 40 is 80, right? So that the probability of gym and 35 years and younger, well, this would be um, exactly 40 out of 140. Using a calculator, we add everything here. And if we add everything, we have 110 over 140. And this is approximately, right, can you use the approximate symbol? Right, so it is necessarily approximately 0 0.79. And now we're able to infer therefore that the probability in 11.2 of the gym, less than 35 years, is that, uh, yeah, it's approximately this one here. Right, so in other words, it is a, uh, you have uh, the uh, 110 over 140, just uh, confirming that, which is that, so it is indeed approximate here. So we have, therefore, that the probability is actually obvious. I mean, we can also do this here. Much nicer presentation, but very neat. So we can say that this is 11 out of 14, and this is approximately 0 0.79. And this is 11 out of 14, and this is approximately 0 0.79. Like this. Right, so we have been able to solve this particular problem here, that if it is given that A equals 12, we to determine the probability that a randomly selected person prefers going to the gym or is in the age group 35 years and younger. Okay, so this is what we have. So we can get some of the entries, for example, like here, uh, because we know the total of the gym is 70, and this is... Uh, um, exactly 40, so we can actually be able to see that this is 30, so that 40 plus 30 is 70. It was awesome solving this problem step by step. Right, thank you for watching, and have an awesome, awesome day ahead, and a very, very goodbye to you. Goodbye.